Hello and welcome to the Rise of the Pi Woman series. In these 30 days, I will show you real data science and machine learning tips and tricks. I am Manja and my mission is helping decision makers gain more profit with machine learning insights. So let's get and learn together. See you inside. Hello and welcome to the next series, Rise of the Pi Woman. Today we will do really one uh, famous uh, case study, so House Prices Advanced Regression Technique. Uh, so just a few uh, tips. So if you have some experience with Python and machine learning basics, this is a perfect competition for data science students who have completed an online currency machine learning and are looking to expand their skills before trying a feature competition. Uh, this is a data set from Kaggle. So if you ask a home buyer to describe their dream house and they pro probably won't begin with the height of the basement, cell ceiling or the proximity to an east waste railroad, but this playground competition data set provides that much more influences price negotiations than the number of bedrooms on a white picket fence with 79 expansionary variables describing almost every aspect of residential homes in Elmas or Iowa. This competition challenges you to predict the final price of each home. So, <clears throat> so we will create feature engineering, advanced regression techniques like random forest and gradient boosting. And this is uh, uh, like from uh, Ames Housing dataset was com com applied by Dean Decock. So we will now go and do this data set. In order to, to uh, keep along with me, you have to go here and download the data set. So you have like test CV and train CV. So you have to download them. Uh, and to download them, upload in your Jupyter Notebook. So let's go and import our uh, libraries. So we will say, we will say import libraries. And we will say import numpy as np, then import Seaborn as SNS and import pandas as PD um, import matplotlib dot pyplot as PLT and then from scpy import that's and of course uh, we want our data set to be in line to show up uh, in line so matplotlib in line that's about it about libraries uh, then we want to uh, load data sets yes so we will say train equals pd dot read csv bracket then we have dot train dot csv and then we will uh, then we want to see uh, first of five rows of our train data set so we will say train dot head and now we can see the first five rows so we can see subclass zoning lot frontage lot area street or early loot shape one country utilities and so long uh, <coughs> then we want to see the shape of our the shape of our so shape of shape of shape of train data set so we will say train dot shape and we can see that and then now you can also check the data set information using the info so we can so so we can say train 
dot info yeah and we can see the information about this data set uh, so let's go uh, let's go on and now we want to, t uh, to have target value also we want to import our uh, testing uh, data set so we will say test equals uh, pd dot read csv in the brackets dot and then test dot csv and then we will run it sorry i didn't i forgot the t so that's all right and then we want to do our uh, target variable so some analysis on the target variable so i will write here in the markdown i will write target variable variable okay and and it's so it's some kind of some analysis on target variable okay and then we will do it so please look at what i'm doing so i will plot a uh, subplots you remember we did that uh, in previous tutorials for uh, for seaborn so fixed size equals let's say the fixed size will be 12 and 9 okay uh, then sns this plot train train sale price then we will say fit equals stats dot norm okay so so now we will get so now we will get get the fitted parameters used by the function used by the function so let's say me you me you sigma equals stats dot normal fit then train and then again we have to add our sale price okay then the next stop we have to plot so plot with the distribution with the normal distribution um, and we will say plt legend bracket then normal normal distribution then in the brackets so dollar then me u equals dollar and then we will say this and uh, i didn't do it properly so me u equals then we will add here so hop and dot to f <clears throat> to f okay then we'll close this bracket so we'll close that bracket and now we will add format then me you sigma 
and then it will have this and we will say block equals best okay um and we will say after that plt y label and then uh, frequency okay okay frequency and then we will plot the probability plot so to see the probability of this so we will say we will say proba probability plot and we will say fig equals plt dot figure mm, okay then stats dot mm, prob plot and then we will say okay sale price okay so we will say mm, so we will say plot we will say train again sale sale price sale price and we will comma plot equals plt and we will say plt dot show and this so we will go and so um, let me see so plt legend normal distribution okay so i didn't add the brackets here so mm -hmm. okay and then so mm -hmm. i didn't add, add <clears throat> the values here so i will do this so we have so mm -hmm. and so we can say and sigma equals and dot to f then we have here this and we will add no so we will So we add so now, so no explanation, okay. Then uh, this, okay, and dollar sigma equals uh, then, then, mm, mm, mm. format the best. Now it should be good. Let me see. So stats, mm, <clears throat> stats prob, prob plot, train equals sale price plot plt so we so my mistake here again so it will be like this no will be like this and here we don't need these brackets and now it will show so let me see as now to put this plot so uh, let me see this plot so this plot this plot and now it will be okay so now we can see uh, <clears throat> our probability plot so we can see now so this target variable is right skewed so now we need to transform this variable and make it normal distribution so you can see that our isn't like normal distribution so in order to do that so for more information about uh, about uh, normal distribution i will leave you a link in, in in this video so here we want to use log for target variable to make more normal distribution so let's go and do that so 
so we use now so we use log function which is which is numpy and we will say train sales sale price equals mp dot log one p train sale price and that will be it just i made a mistake here so in order to not make mistakes anymore so we can see so we have it here and we will we will close this so train um sell price equals mp log log 1p uh, train uh, sell price and we don't need this so then we will check again for more normal distribution so so check again for more normal distribution so we will say plt sub plots in the bracket fix fix size equals in the bracket uh, 12 and 9 lm9 then sns this the plot train Mm, and again, so sale price, sale price, then we can add comma fit equals equals stats dot norm. Okay. Uh, so plt sub plots fix size equals 12 and 9 so sns this plot train sell price fit starts dot norm and now we want to now we want to get the fitted parameters used by the function so we will use mu sigma as we did it previously, so stats norm dot fit dot fit train and again the same stuff so and the same stuff so sale price so me u sigma stats dot norm fit train sell price and then we will do what we will do then so we will we will plot with distribution and we will again do the probability plot so we will now so we will plot with the distribution so we will say plt legend normal normal distribution then in the brackets again so it's the same and in the previous so me you me u equals dollars and we have this bracket so it will be okay it will be like this so it will be dot 2f and 
to F and sigma equals dollar and then again this so to f so up dot to f for this function and then we will say dot format me u me u comma sigma and we will say lock equals best okay and the last step is so probability plot so we will do the probability plot so we will say fig equals plt dot figure and then and then we will say stats dot prob plot train cell price dot plot equals plt and of course we want our plots to show so plt dot show plt dot show and let's run this so now now it's different so we can see that we so we get it almost to the normal normal distrib distribution so it looks uh, really pre pretty much nice if you compare to this first section so for in this first section you can see that it was it was a bit you can see that it was going off and now you can see that our it's really looking really looking, looking really good uh, so now after this section so what we want to do now um, so the next step when we did this so we will check the missing values and then we will visualize our missing values so let's go and check the missing values okay so check the missing values so this is a markdown okay so check missing values so we will say so let's check if uh, the data set has any missing values so we will say train dot columns train dot is null dot any and we will um, see so we can see that a uh, lot of frontage le um, then uh, we can see a lot of them that have a uh, missing uh, missing values so now we will uh, plot of missing value attributes so we will say plt dot figure so we will say fig size equals let's say 12 and 6 then sns dot heat map so we'll use heat map here so let's use it so train dot is null okay and please peel it plt show show us our heat map now we can see our our heat map um, so so you can see that so we have a lot of missing values 
So missing values uh, counts in in each of these columns. So you know we saw now, now we want to get rid of the missing values. So we will first count our missing values in each of these columns. So we will say we will say here. So is null equals so is null equals train dot is null dot sum then we will say land length of the train set so land train and we will multiply with with 100 uh, then we will say is null equal is null is null greater so greater than greater than zero and then after that we will say is null dot sort so we will sort the values values in place so we want to see uh, first the values that have the missing values so we will say in place equals in place equals true and for ascending equals false and then we will run this uh, we will run it so it should appear i don't know why it isn't appearing so it should appear that uh, yeah, I I forgot one small step. So again, is no then. So now we can see it, and now we can see it. So we can see that we have the so we have all the missing values here. So we we will visualize the missing values now. So we will go and visualize the missing values. Let's go and visualize it. So we will convert into data frames. So we will is null equals is is null dot to frame. Okay. Dot to a frame. Okay. So in order to do that so so we are visualizing missing values then we will uh, count them and name them uh, so another step is so we will say is null dot columns equals so count them so we want to count how many of them we have so count we can send count with small letters so count counts okay and then is null dot index dot names equal names mm. we have to add bracket here so name okay name and then okay <coughs> name then is no name um, equal is no dot index and we will uh, plot the missing value so we will say plt figure dot fig size equals 13 and 5 so I did this plotting for the fixed size just like what I think that it, it is the the best for for this data set so style equals so we want uh, white grid so we will say 
style equals white grid so our background to be white and then we will say sns dot bar plot so we will using a bar plot you remember that we in previous tutorial we made a simple bar plot so now we are learning by doing so implementing in, in the, this case study so x equals name then we will say y equals count and data equals is null then we will say plt dot x dx so we want to set our rotation so our rotation maybe 60 no it's better to be a 90 degrees okay rotation and then plt dot show okay and now we have our visualization <clears throat> so you can see if i zoom it so you can see that the most of the missing values you have in in the polo cursi and you have le fans uh, fireplace key you uh, lot frontage and so on so you can see that uh, then we can uh, <clears throat> uh, so our next step <clears throat> our next step is to to see the correlation between train attributes so we will separate variables into new data frame for original from original data frame which has only numerical values so there is a 38 numerical attribute from 81 attributes and after that we will delete id so because this is not need for a correlation plot so we will delete the that uh, that place uh, and after that we will uh, and do the cor correlation plot and after that we will do the top 50 percent correlation train attribute with sales price so let's go so correlation between train attributes so let's go so we will we will add train uh, dot correlation equals train dot select d type the types so in the bracket and then we will say include equals in the bracket mp mp dot number okay so train correlation mp dot number okay then we will say we want to see the train correlation shape so we will say uh, train uh, correlation dot shape we can see 100 and 460 and 28 so we will delete id because that's not re really needed for correlation plot so we will say delete train um, core and we will add so uh, we will add id okay so we will do that then the other stuff so correlation plot we want to set to have now a correlation plot so we will say correlation equals train correlation um, then we will say dot correlation and okay that's that should be it and we will again the same stuff so plot so plot so plot so fix size so for this i will i will say because i you have a more 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 um more terms so i will say i will say maybe Fix size equals um, twenty and nine, and I will I will again use heat map so SNS heat map and core are not annotation equals true. So okay, so I will plot it now. Uh, probably it's uh, so here is it it takes some time for it so here is it um, <clears throat> so uh, you can see that uh, uh, if you have if, if the if, if they have a good correlation so uh, you they will be 
from 50% to 75 and 1. So every of orange places you can see that they have a good correlation. So for example, uh, overall Conda and and garage Y bit. So you can see that they have a really really good correlation. Then uh, for one, this is the the best correlation between them. So we can see that best correlation here we have with, within two trims and here is uh fire baits so and also like if you see like this uh, purple one and this black one you can see that they are opposite in correlation so if this is growing the other one is uh, going uh, down and so on <clears throat> so uh, our next step uh, is we want to see the top 50 correlation train attributes with sale price and after that uh, we will see the overall what's uh, what did happen, and we will see unique value of overall overall liquid. So let's go and uh, add a top fifty correlation train up to the sales price. So we will say um, top feature equals correlation dot index. <coughs> then. Um, ABC core um, sale price, then it's greater than it's greater than 0.5, so the uh, the 50%, and then we will say PLT sub plots. Um, fixed size, fixed size, fixed size equals. We can say now twelve and nine and eight, and then we will say. So you can say top correlation equals train top feature and then dot core and the next step we will say uh, sns again sns again heat map and we will say top correlation and annotation equals true we will say plot dot show and please show us. So okay, so I did. So <clears throat> top uh, feature equal correlation index. So I didn't uh, uh, correlation index uh, apps correlation. Okay, so so sorry, it's not sale price, it's sale price. So sale price. So and here. It's greater than so greater than okay. So now it should it would show. So let's see. So let's see now. We can now see. A top 50 correlation so you can see that here overall uh, overall quill is highly correlated with target feature of sale price by by 82 percent so we can see if you look here so we have so core overall is uh, in correlation with so core overall is correlation with sale price by uh, 82 so we will uh, now uh, train our overall quill and we'll make a box plot and then we'll see see the there's correlation so we will have a unique value of our quote so we'll say train dot overall cool dot unique okay so train train oh uh, sorry uh, two else okay so you can see every seven six eight five nine four 
10, 3, 1, 2. And then we will say SNS. Then we will say SNS bar plot train that overall QL and then train sale price. So SNS bar plot. Mm, sorry, here sale price. Okay. So we can now see a bar plot. Bar plot here, so um, distinguish between them. Then we will, um, so we'll need to, to do like, so to set a, to set a set for the pair plot for the, for this, uh, the best one, so for overall QL, sell uh, price, then uh, grill leave area, garage cares, total uh, basement, uh, full bath, uh, total rooms above grade and year built. So you can see all of them, all of them here, so that they have so uh, a really good correlation. You can see that they have um, all that high correlation. And then we will do them. So let's go and so we will say col coloration coloration. Okay, so col equals. So we will say okay. So we will now make a a box plot. So we will say plt figure fig size equals eighteen eight. SNS box plot um, <clears throat> x equals train dot overall QL and y equals train dot sale price. Okay, so plot figure fix size 188 uh, SNS box plot X equals train over over equal over equal so all X is over over equal and uh, Y is train sales sales price so sell price okay um, so oh sorry fix size equals fear size equals so that's the problem when you're doing a, a live coding session So now we can see that there. So you can see the same result you have. So with, with them, so they are like in really um, high correlation. And then uh, we can do the next next thing. So we will do. So we will do like this. So cool equals. So adding as I said. So sale price then the another one is of course of course um, overall QL then then we have then we have grill grill area then we have garage cars. Then we have total B basement. I think this is a basement. It should be so total B S M T S F. Then full bat. Then we have dot rooms above grid and 
year year built sorry okay year year built so let me see so sell price overall cool to see if i got it wrong if i uh, write it uh, good so grill area garage cars then total b cement is full bad total rooms above grid and year built okay and then we have sns dot set and we will say style equals so style equals <coughs> style equals ticks okay and we will say sns dot pair plots train call and then size equals three and kind equals rack okay let me see is there need for for something else more to to add no i think that's that's it so we will do this and now we will say print so find most important features relative to target so we will say print so find the most important important features relative to target so it's related to target um, so here we we have uh, to add a double brackets so you can see <laughs> how so many this is like uh, you may remember we did uh, like a uh, seaborn and it was easy so this is like the full full power of a uh, of a seaborn so okay so find okay okay so find the targets so find the most important features relative to 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 targets and then we will say correlation so oh so no it's not ping it's print so print so and then correlation equals train um train dot correlation then we will say correlation dot again sort values sort values and we will open the bracket so again sell price sell so sell price and we will say okay so ascending <coughs> equals false and then we will say in place equals true and then we will say um, so uh, correlation sort values okay sell price ascending false in place true and we will say correlation dot sell price that's it so we can run this <coughs> and now we can see <coughs> so find the most important features relative to the targets we can see which features are uh, are the most the most uh, the most important features relative to the target so we will now input the missing values okay so we will be inputting the missing missing values and after that uh, so now after that there, there won't be a missing value so we will do encoding strings to integer and then we will do the preparing data for prediction and then we will do linear regression random forest and gradient boosting regressor so <clears throat> uh, uh, for today for today i will do only um inputting i will do only inputting missing values uh and 
and tomorrow we will do the rest of it. So we will do encoding, preparing data for prediction, linear regression, random forest regression, gradient boosting. Also, like you can uh, you can uh, see all all uh, all the coding. So all all the codes for this case study on my GitHub. So for today, so we uh, we did it uh, for today. So tomorrow we will do uh, import of the missing values, and then after that uh, we will we will do the rest of one. So until tomorrow, um, I, uh, until tomorrow I I I I I will <clears throat> until tomorrow and like I wish that you enjoyed in today's tutorial because we implemented everything that you're learning in the in the first uh, week. Uh, please send me uh, send me comments and feedback on these tutorials. Uh, in order to get um, data sets and uh, like extra resources for me, you can subscribe to my email list. You have all the links uh, in, in the YouTube description. Uh, until tomorrow, happy machine learning. Bye.